Good morning and praise God. Happy Sunday, everybody. Um, I just want to encourage you guys on today. You know, I just want to let you know, if nobody else has told you on today, is that Jesus loves you. And for those who may not have been in the house of God in a while, and it's not even so much about going into the house of God, but for those of you who may not have been in a relationship with God in a while, I just want to let you know that it's not too late to come back to the Father's house. It's not too late to come back to Jesus. Jesus still loves you. It doesn't matter if you think you're too far gone. You're not too far gone. Jesus still loves you. He can still do something great with your life. He can still do something great with your purpose that he has given you. And so I just want to encourage you on today and let you know that Jesus loves you. It doesn't matter what you've done. It doesn't matter what your past looked like. It doesn't even matter what you did last night. What counts is this moment now. Repent and come on back to the Father's house. Repent and come on back to Jesus. Jesus loves you. And there are so much good things and great things that God wants to do with your life. Don't keep running because of fear. Don't keep running because of doubt. Don't run because someone told you that you weren't good enough because you are. Jesus loves you. It's a sin he doesn't love in all of us. You know, it's so much going on in this world and you know, no one knows the day or time when the Lord is coming. No one, no one knows, not even angels in heaven. No one knows. So I just want to encourage you on today. Come back on home, sons and daughters. Come back home. Come back home. And so, you know, I know sometimes things seem tough. And I know sometimes, you know, things seem rough. And it seems like things are not going to get any better. But let's not focus on the problem. Let's focus on what God can do. And I'm telling you, God can change any situation. So will you pray with me on this morning? Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I pray for every soul that is watching this video this morning. I pray that you will touch, touch this son, touch this daughter. I pray, God, that you will just begin to transform their lives, Lord. Let them know, God, that they're loved. Let them know, God, that they are cherished by you, Lord. Let, their, let them know, God, that, that there's still hope, that, that, that you, you reach out to the depths of the soul of all sinners, God, including the ones that's in church every Sunday, because the truth of the matter is, is that church is no more than a hospital for sinners, right? Help us, God. Give us a heart for you, Lord. And Father, take away our desires for the things of this world, Lord. Take away every desire in us, God, that's not like you, Lord. Help us to feel your love again, God. Give us that desire to love again, to be loved, to walk in love, God. To be in Christ. To be united with you, Father. In Jesus' name, amen. And Father, forgive us for all our sins. Jesus loves you. He loves you. He loves every boy. Every girl, every sinner, he loves you. And all he is saying is, son and daughter, come on back home. So my, my invitation is, sons and daughters, will you come back home today? It doesn't matter what you've done. Come on back home to the Father's house. You say, no, I've done this and I've done that. I can't. I can't. I just don't. Come back home. Jesus is waiting for you. The Father's waiting for you. He's waiting for you with open arms with open arms. So I just pray on today that somewhere, whether it's in your house, in your car, wherever you are today, that you will truly accept this invitation that Jesus loves you. He loves you. And all he wants you to do is come on back home. It doesn't matter what you've done. It doesn't matter if you was lukewarm, if you was a liar, if you was a thief, if you was a fornicator. It does not matter. Repent and make it right with God and come back home. Because, you know, the truth of the matter is, Jesus is coming any day and now. Do you not see the signs? Do you not see the signs? Prepare your soul. Because any day, he's going to come, y'all. It's not too late. Right now, today is the day of salvation. Will you accept the Father's invitation to come back home? I pray that you guys have a blessed day. And I pray that you get everything that God has for you. Another thing, look for the beauty in the day. You can find God even in the smallest places. In the smallest places. And for those of you who are going in the house of God on today, let's not be spectators. The music may not sound like the way you want it to sound. The preacher may not preach what it is you want to hear. But open up your heart to receive what the Father wants to say, okay? So I pray that you guys have a blessed day in Jesus' name. 
And again, look for the beauty in the day. You can find God even in the smallest places on today. Allow God to be your hands, your feet, your mouth. Let him in here, okay? Y'all be blessed in Jesus' name.